Hello again, it's Cons, and today I've got a slightly different video for you. I'm going to be showing you how to automate track gathering inside the guiding lands using a macro. I've done this before for Steamworks, but not too many people saw that, so I thought I'd go through the process again. What you want to get is PS4 Remote Play, which you've just seen me sort of jump into. Get the corresponding version of it for whichever type of PC you have. You'll also want to grab PS4 Macro. Get it from the GitHub link. Download it here, and we will run those both now. And there we go. So all I have to do is plug my PS4 controller to my computer. Press the O. And there we go. Perfect. So now you can see I am playing the game on my computer with my PS4 controller plugged into my computer. I'll show you the set quickly. Uh, I have three pieces of Lunasha to get as much tool specialist as possible, and I have a bunch of gathering skills. Don't really worry about the specifics. Stealth and Intimidator are nice to stop monsters from noticing you. And then I've got a bunch of scout fly skills. I don't know if they actually work. I just put them on for, you know, superstitious purposes. But anyway, that's not the important part. So the next thing we can do is run PS4 macro. While I wait for that to load, let's head to the guiding lands. So what I will do is just get rid of all of the junk in my inventory. I like to keep a firecaster in it just for my own purposes, but you don't need those either, or even the dungs. It really depends on how much attention you want to pay to the game. If you're willing to sit here and sort of babysit it, then you can use dung pods, but usually I let it go while I'm doing laundry and stuff. In which case I can't really pay much attention. So the first thing I will do is just record myself pressing circle a whole bunch. So we'll press play. Oops, sorry. We will clear macro. We'll press play. We will start recording. You can just hear me mashing circle a tiny bit, and we will stop recording. And that's it, my character is now mashing circle on her own accord. I will pause this macro for now. I will get outside, I will call my tail rider. And I will turn on my ghillie mantle and turn on the macro. And now the character will be picking up stuff completely off of her own accord. She will pick up a bunch of random junk too, and so every couple of hours you'll have to like dump your items in your item box, refresh your item set. But yeah, the tail rider will automatically home in on all tracks, and by mashing B, which is automatically on macro, you'll be picking them up yourself without having to actually play the game. You can automate this more thoroughly. You can automate the process of leaving the base camp, putting on the ghillie mantle, starting this up, and then time it so that you far caster before the ghillie mantle expires. You can put in redundancies for like carting and that kind of thing. It really does just depend on how comfortable you are with making macros and how much experience you have doing it. Uh, for now, I've opted to just keep it nice and simple so that it's more accessible for more of you guys. Just press circle like 10 times during your macro. Nothing too complicated. But yeah, you, you can take this a step further and completely automate the process if you want to. Now another thing that's worth noting is you want to avoid monsters fighting each other as much as possible. Uh, things like turf wars and, and damage that they deal to each other will negatively influence your other areas. The nice thing about this method is gathering tracks increases one area but doesn't decrease others. And so the idea is by gathering tracks purely and not actually fighting the monsters you can level up every single area and you can do it automatically. Now my ghillie mantle has worn off, and I will probably get killed, and that's fine. Ideally here, I would just dung the monsters away, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to imagine that I wasn't paying any attention, that I left the game to run on its own. What'll happen is I'll get killed, I'll get spawned back at base camp, and then I'll come back and check on the game in 10 minutes and just start the process up again. It's really quite simple. And you can see we have been dumped back at base camp. Now what I would normally be doing right now is I'd be in the middle of housework, or I'd be watching, I don't know, TV or something. And so I would check back in every 5 or 10 minutes, by which point my ghillie mantle would have respawned. The longer you leave it, the more tracks will spawn in, and so the faster your eventual track gathering will be. Okay, so I have just gotten back from doing some housework. Uh, I have been killed. I'm going to turn off my macro momentarily. Going to go outside. Going to call my tail rider, jump on. I'll ghillie mantle up and I will activate the macro and we are off again. So yeah, the idea is you let it play 
And again, if you want to be slightly more intelligent than me, you can automate more of this process. You can automate the process of reactivating the ghillie mantle, of relieving the base camp, and make the entire system automated. But that's not what I'm interested in doing right now. I'm, I'm just going to make it nice and accessible and just have it so that you only have to press circle a few times to make the macro. Unfortunately, Tail Raider AI is kind of garbage. There's <laughs> not much you can do about that, but it's definitely better than nothing. We will just let the Tail Raider home in on all the various tracks. Uh, we will be grabbing them automatically. I'm not pressing anything right now. These tracks are being gathered by themselves via the macro. And so this is, we'll be leveling up my Coral Highlands.